And I started a new character because um, I wanted to show you all the, the tutorial, like straight from the beginning. And besides, I think like the original, like the first splash screen, then you should be able to, uh, to see it all. All right, you should be able to hear the, the game volume. Let me know if it's too loud or not loud enough. So all you have to do is create an account. You just register, it's for free, and then jump in. It's gonna teach you everything right from the right from the beginning. Wake so up. Wake up. I'm gonna be vaping during this too. Barely survived your last battle, but with some training, you'll become a force to be reckoned with. Let's get started. All right. You kind of have to wait and let it do its thing. It's going to teach you what you have to do back and forth. Here are my cards down here at the bottom that I have in my hand. So first you need mana to do anything, and mana comes from land cards. And since I'm playing white, um, the color white, then planes are my land. So I'm going to click it. And then I'm just going to click it out here somewhere, and it's going to go ahead and throw that down. You can use one land card. Uh, you can place one land card down per turn. So a lot of this I'm going to remember. A lot of it I'm not. So after that, I can't do anything else. So it's the other player's turn. So they're going to go ahead and start. So now it's my turn again. I get to play another land. And it's going to go ahead and stack them. Oh, got it. Yeah, I got to click something, don't I? There we go. All right. So you can you tap land, meaning you turn it sideways to use the mana from there. And you can see these cards have like two um, two little white dots up here. That means that it takes two mana to cast it. So I have to tap these two to cast this. And the game automatically does it for me. So all I have to do is just throw it out there. So this creature so taps both my cards. And now I have this 2-2 uh, two -two creature. I did get another land, so I can place it out there. And then I can actually cast another one of these uh, Shrine Keepers out there. Only one of your creatures is ready to attack. And it's saying that um, only one creature can attack at, a at right now because um, when you first put your creature out there the the rest of that turn it can't just come right out and attack it's got to stay through your hand one turn so i can only attack with this one shrine keeper that i had out here last time so i'm gonna click them and then click one attacker down here yes so it shows you that it's going to do two damage and it has it, can, it has two defense so since he didn't have anything to block it to then he actually took the damage So now it's his turn, her turn, whatever. Oh wow, cool. What is this guy? Lox Loxodon Loxodon Linebreaker. He does three damage and takes and is two defense. And he takes three mana to cast. So I have three mana, I can cast him. So I can do since he just came out, I can't use him, so I have to use um Oops, have to use these um, uh, these other two. So I can click them. I can choose one or both, and then I choose just to attack. Now that this person can choose to defend with with whatever creatures that they have, or uh, they can choose to just to take the damage. So let's see what they do. So it chooses to block one. So they'll fight. I'm going to do two damage to his two defense. I did click to continue. All right. And the other one's just going to go through and, and hit them. I have to crush you. That's a big problem. So I got another land. I can throw that out there. Does the 
the quality of the stream look okay? It's kind of hard for me to tell from here until I'm done, and I wish uh, wish I could make adjustments on the fly, but hopefully it looks okay. It's not blurry or anything like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just attack them with, with everything. Oh, it says your opponent can block and kill your attackers. Don't attack this turn. That's true. So I do no attackers. Let's do that. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Spirit, but I will show What's up, Danny? Right. I'm glad it kind of told me what to do there because I was just not paying attention. Uh oh, that creature gets a plus four, plus four. Oh crap! So now this guy's like super duper strong, and I'm sure he's gonna attack me. All right, so he's attacking me, and I get to choose to defend. Okay. What's up, Marshall? All right, so I can choose to defend. So if I choose to defend with this guy, he's just going to kill it. He's only has, he can only take two damage. And this guy can only take two damage. So this guy's weaker since he only has, he has two offense. This guy has three. I would rather keep this guy. So I'm going to choose to block with my weaker guy because I know either, bo either one that I, I defend with is just going to die. So I'm just going to do click him, one blocker, let him smash me. And so he blocked all the damage since he doesn't have trample. What's up, Michael? Now it's my turn. So I get this card here, and this looks cool. Destroy target tapped creature. Well, that creature is now is now tapped because he attacked me with it. So I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna spend two mana, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jack him. Yeah, right there. All right, so we killed him. You're not making this. All right, so now I can attack with this last guy here. And he's just going to attack straight on because he doesn't have anything to block with. And, uh, yes, attack. So now he's got one health left. Uh oh. <laughs> We've got you cornered. What, do I, what did I have here? Clear a path to finish her. So I've got this spell that I just got called um, Blinding Radiance. And what it does is it uh, taps all the creatures that that your opponent controls. Hey, that sounds good. They won't be able to attack me if I do that. So let's play that. All right, uh, and now it's my turn I can attack. What's up, Marshall? Great game, I've been playing far too much lately. This is my first time really playing. I, I played this first part just for a, a minute uh, the other night and then I decided to save it and play along with you, with you all so you all could see it like straight from the get-go So yeah, I'm gonna attack everything because this she doesn't have anything to block with and she only has one hit point left So I'm just gonna attack and that should be the end well of the round fought, Yes I'm so awesome at this. I won the tutorial level one. I beat the game. I Thought it would take longer than that, but I beat I beat the entire game. Okay, maybe it wasn't the entire game. All right, new cards unlocked. Um, cool, let's see what I got. Spiritual Guardian. When sp Spiritual Guardian enters the battlefield, battlefield, you gain four life. I bet I'll end up needing that. Yeah, good work back there. All right, you're welcome. Yeah, you're thanks. Another You've got to be prepared for anything. Okay. So it looks you're like there's five levels of the tutorial. Let's see how we do. You need to know about tactics. All right, well, let's go. Bring it. Bring it. Surprise attack. I I was drinking. Oh wow, it has haste. So that means you can attack right when it comes out. Yes. Dude. First blood. What's up? Yay! <laughs> Don't worry. These things are basically harmless. Yeah, basically. All right, I can throw a land out there. Can I play? No, I can't play anything. So it's his turn. All right. Okay, maybe worry just... Yeah, no, he's got three mobs out there. I don't have anything. I can't block. Nothing I can do. Second block. Boy, that's a quick deck, isn't it? Um, yeah. You need yeah. to mount a defense. Yeah, you think? I can throw one thing out there. That's all I can do. I don't know what this first main and second main is. 
Hmm. I don't know. All right, so I can block. And that's all I can do. I can just block that one guy. So I killed one of them. Oh, man. Wow. So now he's got a... Got a 3-3 creature out there as well. Let me play my land. It's a sanctuary cat. All right, so I can play this cat. I can, I can play this uh, shrine keeper. The creatures aren't tough enough to survive being blocked. Hold them back. So okay, well thanks for the, thanks for the tip. We'll do no attackers. Everybody but me. Cha! So here they come. So now I need to decide which ones to block. So if I block with, if I block this guy with this guy, then I team up and I block this guy with this guy, I can kill him. Okay, so that guy will be dead. Then I can block this guy here and this guy will get through to me. So I'll take one point of damage, but then two of his guys are gonna be killed, if that makes sense. Goblin grenade. Sacrifice a goblin deals five damage to any target. Wow. All right, and he, and he nailed me with five damage right there. All right, I'm going to play my land. Everybody's going to attack. Go get them. Uh oh. Goblin leader. Oh, man. He's got two guys already just from putting that one guy in there. I remember uh, green, the playing green had a bunch of tokens and stuff like that. I don't remember red having all that. Maybe that's, apparently that's changed. All right, what's this? Let me play my land real quick. So I have five now. This costs five. When Spiritual Garden enters the battlefield, you gain four life. So I'm going to, I'm definitely going to play them because I need that four life right now. And it gives me another creature out there. So, if I attack him, I can kill all his creatures. Virtually, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do that. I forgot this, this guy couldn't attack yet. That's okay. It worked out. Okay, dude. So I can block him with this, and that should kill him, unless he, he boosts him up. Hopefully he doesn't. It's time to bring the pain. It's kind of fun, though. It's just taking me back. In college, though, you had to mess with all the cards and shuffling and waiting for everybody's turn, and it was just, it took forever. Wow, look at this guy. 7-3. When he enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to each player. Holy smokes. So I do have another spiritual guardian I can cast, which gives, which gives me four life when I cast it. I'm going to put him out there. Now, I can attack. If he chooses to block, it'll kill this creature. He didn't. So he's going to attack. Now I can choose to take it. I'm thinking I'm just going to choose to take it here because it'll. Wow, that does seven damage though. That does seven damage. Hey, John, what's up, man? Yeah, I better block it. A good general knows when that beat. So you should probably give up now. Yeah, if you've never played Magic: The Gathering before. Uh, go ahead and download this game. It's free, and it's called Magic the Gathering Arena. Just type in Magic the Gathering Arena, and it's in beta, and it's free to play right now. And it has this tutorial. It teaches you pretty much everything you need to know. What's this? Uh, destroy target tapped creature. Well, he doesn't have a tapped creature right now, so I can just attack him. Oh, I have to click it twice. All right, and end. 
I haven't seen end before. All right, so he's got haste, so he, he can attack me right away. Alright. So I can cast the Shrine Keeper. I can destroy this target tapped creature. Bam. You're dead. Now I can attack. Oop. I can attack with this guy, and this should be the end of the round. It's the pokey things that hurt them both. There we go. John says, good call. Thanks, John. Again, I haven't played this since, um, I think I played like one or two rounds with Scott maybe 10, 15 years ago um, of the actual card game. But before that, I played uh, back in 1993, 94, I think was the last time I played. All right, I got an enchant creature. Gives him plus three, plus three, I'm flying. And creature gets plus two. Awesome. That's that's pretty nice to have. You're a quick learner. So let's try a more challenging method. Okay, so... I wonder if this guy's going to be blue. Blue is like the... Blue is like the... the, the cancels every everything um, <laughs> color from before. I wonder if it's blue. They just kept canceling all my cards. If it is wisdom you seek, I will teach you. All right, so they have a flying creature. Birds fly freely, unfettered by earthly bombs. So I can play my land, and I can play this little sanctuary cat. Get him out there. Get some defenders out there. Everything is connected. You must understand the air, land, and sea. All right, so he's gonna. He just buffed it with a plus one, plus one. I can't block it if he attacks because because uh, it's flying. And my creature's not flying, so I can't block. I have to take it. All right, what is this Knight's Pledge? Okay, it's a plus two, plus two. All right, you give it a shot. So I can put this land down. I can go ahead and buff up the creature. Right, give him plus two, plus two. But now my little cat turns into a 3-4. What's up? Yeah. Let's see how you like that. This is really fun, you guys. All right. Oh, I always forget to click attack after I'm done. All right. So it's flying. I can't do anything against it. Obstacles may block your path. Oh. But do not lose sight of your true goal. So this is a great defender. <laughs> it is kind of cool. Look at its hat. Like it's it's a skull. It has a uh, it's a hermit crab with a skull for a for a shell, and then has a pirate's hat on. But it's kind of cool. Cause it's just a defender. It can't attack me, but it can it can defend very well. What did I get? All right, let me play this out there. Uh, we're gonna put this Luxton linebreaker. Get him out there. Now, if I attack with this. He just blocks it. He won't do any damage, and it won't kill him. So there's really no reason for me to attack. Yeah, it is a big kitty, John. Battles ebb and flow. Yeah, I know. I can't do anything against it, against that flying creature. Enchant creature does not untap during its controller's untap step. Oh, dude. Wow. All right, so he just tapped it uh, with this enchantment. Tap enchanted creatures. Enchanted creature does not untap during its controller's untap step. And I'm wondering if that's a permanent, if that stays there or or what. That's pretty, it's pretty badass. All right, enchant creature gets plus two, plus two. All right, let's play our land first. I do have four. This costs five. So I can play this and like buff up my kitty some more. <laughs> I'm this uber, like uber strong cat now. All right, yeah. So if he chooses to block, which he did, then I kill his little crab guy. Sorry, crab dude, you're wrecked. Nothing I, I can do against that flying creature. The shallows, you'll never learn the secrets of the depths. 
Wow, that sounds deep. Wow, draw two cards. That's nice. Another crab. No. All right, I got another. Another um, plane, so another land, and I can play this guy, gain for life, and I can attack with this guy, with my big kitty. Go get him, kitty! Get him, Fluffy, get him! All right. Nothing I can do. What's up, Scott? Oh, he's permatapped unless you get rid of the enchantment. Oh, okay, so if I have like a, a disenchantment spell, then I could get rid of it. All right, thank you. Thank you, John. All right, what did he throw out here? Titanic Pelagosaur, whatever, 4-6, all right. All right, this enchant creature, I could go plus three, plus three, and have flying. I could make my cat even bigger. Oh, you're at dinner with your family, but thought I'd wave. All right, cool, Scott. Awesome, man. So should I make the kitty bigger, or should I put it on the spiritual spiritual uh, guardian guy? Should I have, the, like, this epic cat, or should I give um, give it to the spiritual guardian? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking the cat, just because it would be really funny. I'm going to go with the cat. There we go. And now my cat's flying. <laughs> right, I got a flying cat. That's pretty epic. So I can choose to attack. If I choose to attack uh, with this guy, if he blocks it with this guy, then I'll kill him. If he blocks it with this guy, then my guy dies. Nothing happens to his guy. Flying, though, he, he can only block it with this guy. So I think that's what I'm going to do. If I do that, I can't block, though, right? Ah, oh, man. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. It says attack with your flying creature, but I kind of would like to have him on defense next time. I don't know. I'll play a little bit more defensively, I think, than the computer does, maybe. All right, so it's it's blocking. The only thing I can I can do is I can block this guy. Wow, man. So that's why I didn't want to do it. Yeah, I held the attack, but now, like, I mean, if I block this guy, I'm gonna, I have to. I have to block the guy. I can't take all the damage. It puts me, it puts me way too far down. The student is a river. The teacher is an ocean. Maybe I'll draw something the decent. Master is also right, if he attacks with a big one, defend with a kitty. Wow, he's got another one of these big dudes. All right, what's this here? <laughs> so I can enchant my, my kitty even more. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So right now, if I attack, he shouldn't be able to defend. Right? Because he attacked me with that dude last time. He's tapped. And this guy's not flying. So that should be it. That's 10 damage, man. Get wrecked! was fun while <laughs> yeah. That's a serious cat. Serious flying cat right there, ladies and gentlemen. Fluffy, my hat's off to you. You did a great job. I'm proud of you. Um, what did I get here? Target blocking or block creature. You control gets plus two, plus two. Okay, until the end of term. So that's an instant. Here's another instant. Uh, casting the spell only if a creature is attacking me. Uh, create three one one white spirit creature tokens with flying. That's some pretty cool defensive stuff. So yeah, we're gonna claim those, and now we're on level four, baby. Let's go. Almost ready to take on anyone, including whoever roughed you up in the first place. So playing the computer is not a problem, but when it gets when I start playing with um, against real people, then I bet you know everything's gonna change. I'm gonna get wrecked every game. Hopefully it has a leveling system or something where it allows me to play against people of my own skill level and uh, kind of like how PUBG does and some other games do because um, if it just throws you in the, the mix with everybody else, that would, that would be kind of weird. That would suck because, yeah, I'm total noob. All right, so this opponent has spells that can 
be cast on your oh, turn. Oh, what pretty little thing has wandered mm -hmm. into my web? All right, so they're playing black. I remember black from back in the day. I'm gonna play my planes. I can throw my kitty back there, Fluffy. You're out there, man. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, Fluffy. Okay. All right, I can play my thing. What's this? Play my Shrine Keeper. Hold on one second here, getting a text thing. All right, so I can tack with this cat. Go get him, kitty. This is my favorite. Oh, so now it's daring me. Destroy target creature with two or less. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Bye, Fluffy. No. You killed Fluffy. All right, well, we're going to avenge Fluffy, though, man. You're Fluffy didn't die for nothing. Fluffy did not die for nothing, I guarantee you. We're coming back. My little shrine keeper over here. He's gonna attack. What is this? With flash? See, they didn't have this flash stuff back when I played. Where you can just throw out a character at any time. A uh, defender at any time. That never happened. Um... Those, those weren't available back then, so lots have changed. What's up, Mike? No, I didn't see that coming. I'm a, there's a lot for me to learn here. All right, play my land. Enchant creature gets plus two, plus two. Yeah, we're going to play that and buff up our Shrine Keeper. So now he's buff. So let's see what she does now. Let's see if she wrecks this guy. Yep. There you go. Sacrifice two creatures and draw two cards. Wow. Pretty oh, handy. We don't even get a hiss in. So wait, she defended and wait. then sacrificed the creature before it died? That's pretty pretty wild. Slow down. Alright, it can't block. When it enters the battlefield, it deals five damage to target opponent. Well, that's me, obviously. And so, wow, that happened quick. All right, let's get this guy out here. Can't afford to take another hit like that. Yeah, you think? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this. This is the uh, where it allows me to um, it allows me to buff this creature, and it's an instant, so I can play it at you know during their turn, and it gives my creature a plus two plus two. Uh, when defending, so I'm not going to attack this turn. Block first, then it's time for some trickery of your own. So, I block. I block first. Then. Okay, so I have to I have to click that, and now I can click my instant. And give them an extra plus two plus two to be able to wreck this five five character uh, creature. There we go. And he's not tapped. All right, tactical advantage. So I got another one of those. So I can just uh, all attack. One attacker. I hate these little nimble piercers. Get ready. Can they band or something? Or does she attack with those? Like, I'm kind of confused right now. Blocking or blocked creature. Okay. Gotcha. So it was, blo it was being blocked. That's what it is. I'm at your mercy. Alright, what did I get here? Cast the spell if it, it, only if a creature is attacking you. Create 311 uh, white spirit creature tokens with flying. So, I uh, might get some flying stuff going on here. Alright, I'll attack. 
So I, I finally got the damage. This is the first time that I've got to damage her. Wow. Look, and that was all on my turn. Wow, a 2 1 flash creature is only two mana to cast. That's a really good card. How many of them. Like back in the day, you could only have four of, a, of any card in your deck. And I know that she's cast a lot more than four. Is that still the case, or can you have more than four of a type of card in your deck? That's if I remember correctly. So, all right, yeah, there we go. Three blockers. Ugh, why won't you die? Yeah, every card is a flash for her. All right, what did I get here? Enchant creature gets, all right, plus three, plus three, and flying. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah. My little shrine keeper's getting buffed, baby. He's no longer sweeping the floors. Boom! Wow, that was tough game. That was a tough game. I, I just, I didn't know that she could have more than four of those, um, those flash things in there. All right, see what we got. All right, when another, whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and draw a card. Well, that's nice. It's six mana though. That's that's crazy expensive to me. I don't know if I'd have that in my deck. I mean. One life and, and draw a card. I guess the draw card is decent, but Sarah Angel. And this is new art. So I had the original Sarah Angels. John says, in some game types, you can have more than four. Oh, I gotcha. Now, uh, Sarah Angels came out uh, back when I first started playing, and they were like the coolest thing ever. And 4-4 uh, with flying. And I don't know what vigilance is. Attacking doesn't cause a creature vigilance to tap. I need to go back and look and see if my original Sarah Angel, I don't think it had vigilance. Um, uh, if so, it wasn't called that, and uh, the art was definitely different. Uh, different. And was it four four? I need to go back and look. That'll be interesting to to find out. I'm gonna bring my cards up here next time I play this, and that way I can kind of flip through them. That'll be cool. All right, claim prize. Yes, move on. Nice job. That was so I have all my cards and most of my cards in a binder. So that'll be cool to be able to go through those. And then some of them I have in a um, in a deck. Uh oh. So he reminds me of those old legend legendary cards back in 1994. I really didn't expect to see you again. Oh, click to continue. Sorry. This is a terrible idea. Let's go. What if I get wrecked right here? Have to start the whole tutorial all over again. <laughs> I like the layout though. The the screen and stuff just looks really cool. Defeat me and I'll let you go. Lose and you will serve me for eternity. Well, not if I get fluffy out there. Fight as if your life depended on it. Oh really? Like there's any other way to fight? Each player discards a card. Wow. So I could get I could get rid of one of my lands, but man. This guy's three mana. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of one of my lands. That's rough. Did he just throw away a dragon. You look surprised. I do as I choose with what is mine. Wow. It is all mine. Okay, so he threw out a da uh, dragon. I've got this. I've got Shrine Keeper I can throw out. So it looks like he's playing, oh no, he's playing blue, black, and red so far. Wow. Destroy target creature with power two or less. That went quick. All right, and he still attacked me. Got wrecked. 
Now, I can already tell right here I'm going to be mana poor. So I got three, and everything I've got costs... Well, I got, actually, I can play this guy. I bet he's got one of those destroyed decks where he, everything I throw out there, he just destroys right away. There is nothing else. Draw three cards, and you lose three life. Wow. All right, so I did get another land. I can play that. I mean, block or blocked. Okay. What is this guy? Oh! Whenever, it, whenever a creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under my control, I gain one life and I draw a card. That's pretty nice. Now it's six mana, so I can't do that right now. This is five mana, I can't do that right now. And um, so I can't do anything there. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack with this guy. If he blocks, then, then I'll play this card. And that way he won't die. So I buffed him up so he won't die. I will let nothing stand in the way of what I seek. Not even death. And dude, sounds like me when I'm trying to go get some Taco Bell. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Wow. Oh, wow. So he played this card here that puts a target creature card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And since he got rid of this dragon earlier, then I guess that's in the graveyard. Creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Wow, that's pretty nice. All right, so now I've got five, so I can cast this uh, spiritual guardian. That completely taps me out. I can cast, I can attack with this guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Double cast. You're, you cast your instant or sorcery spell this turn. Oops. Copy that spell. Wow. You may ch wow, dude. Alright, you gotta, gotta like slow down so I can read what the hell you're doing. Two damage for each creature without, <laughs> without flying. Wow, that went quick. All right. I can finally cast this guy. Yeah, there's nothing I could do there because he was flying. My dude's not flying. Target player draws seven cards. Wow. But don't you have to discard back down to seven? Isn't seven the maximum number of cards? So this it, this uh, creatures allow me to uh, to keep drawing cards and gaining a life each time a creature comes out there. Oh, destroy target tapped creature. Yes. Yes, get wrecked. Thank you. Now attack him. Soon there will be nothing left of you This is pretty cool. If you've never played Magic the Gathering, grab this game and it'll take you a little bit to, to catch on or whatever, but grab it and play it. Wow man, this guy's like he's wrecking me. Hold back so you can prepare for his attack. Alright. What is this? Cast this spell only if a creature's attacking you. Okay, got it. So I don't attack this turn. And I can wait. Is that what it's telling me to do? What's up, Ryan? Alright. So I can cast this guy out. Just give me three uh, little token guys. Oh, that's right. It gives me life and allows me to cast... Um, so what is this? Oh, I get another kitty. All right, so I can block this guy with this guy, this guy with this guy, and I can give, can I play this? Now I can play this. All right. 
I can give this guy a plus two plus two, which will. Oh wait, wait, wait. That won't do anything, will it? I don't want to do that actually. Can I go back? I can't go back. Because I would have I would have had this guy. So it would have been two. So yeah, if I would have blocked with this guy as well. Can I go back? Yeah, no, I can't. Because this only gives plus two, plus two. So he'll still die and won't, won't kill that guy. So uh, I, guess, I guess I need to choose my... Be careful when you choose your, your blockers. I'll throw my land out there. Because I could have killed this guy right here uh, with, that, with that other one. All right, do I want my kitty? Yeah, come on out. Come on out, Fluffy. Such impudence. This allows me to draw a card. Oh, it's Sarah Angel. Look at that. Yeah. Alright, I don't know if I can attack this round. What is this? An angel. Do you really think First main. Angel will stop me? My power is beyond my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guard. Never monologue, dude. Alright, can I attack? Yes, I can. Got another defender dude. 5 3 demon. So. Alright, so he's got flying. He's a 4 4. I can block him with him. And. If I block him with him, I can't kill him though. But I can still block him. It'll kill my kitty. I mean, I'm just, I'm destroying Fluffy's like left and right. What if I do that? If I, if I do plus two, plus two, so that'd be three, four, five. I could save my kitty here, I think, right? If I enchant him once, that'd be a plus three. A plus, yeah. Alright, give him that. So he's now a, oh, I couldn't do it twice? I thought you could do it twice. Oh man, I messed up. We've come this far, don't give up now. Alright. So He can't block it. All right, so I'm good there. My I just remember playing this in college and skipping it. classes and like eight people sitting around in, in the UC and just playing Magic for hours and hours on end. I would like go into school early, skip all my classes, and only time I left was to go get you know pizza from Pizza Hut downstairs and come back and eat pizza and play Magic like the entire day. It was so much fun. All right, what can I do here? I can cast my spiritual guardian, dude. So I enter a life. All right, get a life. All right, I can attack again with this guy. Attack. I gotta remember to do that. All right, so I've got to do some blocking here. I only have eight. So this is six together. Yeah, I have to block this guy. I can block with him and then I can enchant him. Is that enough? To, did I mess up right there? Yeah, I messed up. I just wasted that card. There's no reason to, to use that card. Well, I'm going to make mistakes. But hopefully this will uh, this will kill the guy unless he has something to, to defend with right here. Yes, that's it. Wow. Wow.
there you have it. I beat the tutorial. I'm epic. <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty fun game for free. Are you kidding me? Wow, look at all the stuff I get. New decks unlocked. Do I, do I pick one or does it give it give them all to me? Clean price. Oh wow. So it gave me all of this stuff. I don't know if they're any good or not, but pick one. Alright, so your games and you can change it whenever you want. I've always been like a, a mage type guy. With a dragon's rage. This will end badly for you. Blue. Time to set set. Mental magic. Hmm. Our kinship ensures our victory. I advise that you yield. I mean, I like the way that they they do this. Allow you to select your character, and it sounds like they're. They specialize in certain things. This dude looks pretty badass. Time to face me. Beasts are much more reliable than he. I will protect the virtue of this world. So, yeah, I kind of like this dude. He just looks cool. Look at that badass staff he's got. Yeah, I'm going with this dude. Whoa. You've got a quest. If you complete it. You'll get a reward. All right, so I guess this is where you enter the real game, and you're not doing the tutorial. Um, profile here, different decks, packs. I have no packs to open. Store. I guess. Okay, so you can, for five bucks, you can you can buy some packs. It's not bad. How do you get packs? I bet it's going to take me back to the store. Yeah. All right, so it takes me back here. What is this? Earn gold by playing games, completing quests. All right, let's play one more. Okay, let's just let's just see what this does. Select a deck. What do we want to play? What color should we play? It's been a long time since I played Magic. I think I played white for the most part because there were so many people playing back then. Everybody had all these um, these green decks that were super, um, you know. Uh, what were they called? The um, the the growth the growth in instant that would do plus three plus three to um, to a target creature. That had have all those, and um, so most people played like green, red burn decks, and um, and so I played a lot of white with these huge huge decks, and because everybody just just played for fun, and like, there'd be six or eight of us all playing at the same time. And uh, so I'd have like circle protections out there going and just playing through my cards, having a good time. And, uh, and nobody rarely picked on me. And so it was usually like me and the last two people towards the end. And then I had so much crap out there, so much defense uh, that I could, when it's time for me to attack, I could, I could wear them out. So it was pretty fun. So what color, what color should we get here? Should we go black, green, red, blue, or white? I'm going to leave it up to you. What do you think? What should we get? One second. All right. So black, green, red, blue, or white? I don't know. Select a deck. I'm thinking red was kind of fun. There was the burn decks. Blue um, kind of was like a lot of dispelling. Black was like zombies and stuff. Maybe we'll do black. Let's do black. You can change your deck before each game. Okay, edit. All right. Let's play. Should I do this? Because I've got no clue what I'm doing here. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't m muck with this. Maybe I should just leave it. Maybe I should just leave it this, right. the stock deck. All right, so it sounds like they're going to queue me up with somebody else. And we'll see how that goes. I wonder if you can talk to him. That'd be cool. Alright, so... Uh, I'm assuming this is a real person. Alright, opening hand. 
This replaces the seven cards with six new ones. Not that a good open hand has multiple lands and spells. So I do have a multiple lands. Yeah, I'll just keep this hand. All right, so. Can I not play first? Why can't I? How do I do this? <laughs> it's not working. Um, why can't I? There it goes, finally. All right, I can play this guy. It's a one, one. When he dies, it creates a two, two black zombie creature token. I still don't know what this button down here does, this little timer button. I'm gonna play my land card. All right, I can do all attack, one attacker. Smack him for one. And so he's got a flying creature. All right, what just happened? Because that went quick. I'm going to do destroy target creature. All right, there we go. Destroy that guy. All right, that's all I can do is attack right now. I still don't know if this is a real person or not. If I'm playing a real person against a real person or if it's just the computer. But I guess we'll find out. All right, my turn. Play my land. Oh, wait. Oh, he's, he's doing something. He's taking his time. Okay. That's pretty cool. play this guy right so he just took the damage destroy target creature ouch he just wrecked my dude Destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. That's pretty badass. All right. Oh, attack. I'm sure there's probably like, I'm probably, this is click to add stop. Second main click to add stop. I, I need to figure out what those do. If anybody knows what those do, let me know. If it's like pausing or, or what. Meteor Golem. All right. Let's see here. Meteor Golem enters battlefield, destroy target, non land permanent. This guy.
All right. Um, this guy just said hi. I don't know how to chat back. I don't know if you can hear me. Are you a real person? Hello? I don't think you can hear me. I think you just picked these little um, little thingamabobs. I can't play this guy. All right. All right, I should get some tokens here. Yeah. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. All right, what do I do here? All right, combat. What do I do here? Can I not attack with those? I guess I can. Oh, there we go, finally. There we go. Yeah, it's weird. It, it keeps um, keeps slowing down and stopping when I'm I'm not used to it. So I'm trying to get it get it figured out. Target opponent loses three life and you gain three life. Okay. Got it. So resolve. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. Let's see. an instant yeah there it is so combat attack all attack three attackers Plus one, you get negative one. There we go. Got some damage on them that time. This is pretty cool, man. Nice. I guess he's going to destroy this guy. Yeah, that was a good call. I need some more cards, though. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That creature is a black zombie type. See what he does here. I might have messed up because I didn't see that these weren't tapped. This is this is neat.
All right, I can block with that, right? If I do, though, he's probably going to buff it up, and I'm going to lose this guy. No, he didn't. Good game. Hey, I won. I won. So, you guys, that is uh, that is Magic, Magic the Gathering, the arena, or, or arena. If you want to check this game out, it's free to play. Just type in Google Magic the Gathering Arena. Like I said, it's, it's free to play. So, um, so check it out. I'm going to play some more of this. I really want to play it, uh, play it offline. Um, but I'm going to try to stream it if I play it, just so that you guys can, can kind of come in and hang out with me. If you have any questions about the game or just about whatever in general, you know, throw them in the comments. I appreciate everybody coming out tonight. It was a lot of fun. And